right so all right so we'll come back to part three so but this is what we left off from part two so in the part two of um of i we said we're going to update the styling so this is the styling here which is not really good so for that i have to to finish up a part two i have to go and set up um, the styling here a little bit so i'm going to change this width here to 280 pixels and then we want to our app is here is to overflow y is auto now if we go back and then we go into this one as you can see it's it is the same no if you refresh so you can see like this one okay perfect so now our part two is complete so now let's see what we have to do next so in the next is in part three we will do drag and drops as you can see in here first we will drag and drop in the same columns in the same list so for that i'm going to use the library call npm uh, <laughs> react beautiful dnd so this library is great and i also have a tutorial for dedicated to this as well so if you will i will leave the link in the description and you can check it it super easy to learn and it's easy and to implement as well so yeah that so this is what the uh the, the the components should look like so now we first there should be have a drag so they have a drag uh drag and drop context as the parent and whole of the dropper ball is the place where we can drop and then drag is where we can drag the cut and then and put the drop to place where we can drop uh, this one so now we finish this one so first let's go into our app as you can see first we have the drag uh, and drag and drop contact so for that i'm going to our state here below this this one i'm going to do drags and drop contacts this one it's also important to into our projects so i do this so if right now if without this nothing happens so next what we need to do is into our list so list is where we can is drop a ball. So if we can see this is drakeable, and where we can drop is in in the list. If you can drop here, no, you cannot. So this one should be drops inside the list. So for that, in our list here, uh, we should make our list here as the um, drop a ball. So for that, I put this one. So let's see. So we have a title right here, and then we have our card is rendering right here. So which I would do is I do the droppable right here. Droppable. Uh, so it's a droppable right here and this one. And now like this. So now we do droppable. So in droppable, there is something that we need to put is the droppable id so it's where we uh, the id of where we can drop it this one so i'm going to put as the list id so we want to put that as the list id that we can drop a ball and then for this one it's going to if you go here there is going to be error because every every this one has to render as the as a function so for that we're going to do this one and render all these uh, what we need here so now I'm gonna put this one inside this one so for this I have to put uh, this one I think I make the mistakes around this one so I think yeah that that's okay so this is now we I, I think I should create a div as well let's go back first and then I should put return as a div in here and then for that div we're gonna put this one inside here now everything should be stay the same you can see and for this one there's uh, uh, we call it provided this is the, like um, props for this one so this one is we need to reference where we can drop this one in so that should be here 
So we should draft to this one is gonna be uh, provided dot droppable props. So for this we have to spread this one. If you want to notice like in depth, you can check at the tutorial from React uh, um, at DND. So like beautiful DND. So it's it's great explanation. So here's just implementation of it. So some of the code that I've been using here, it's also from uh, the that video as well. So from the, the tutorial as well. So droppable prop right here. So next, what we need to do is the placeholder. So for the placeholder, I'm gonna put it right here inside this one. So provide it dot a placeholder. Now this thing is we can drop we can drop this one. But um, for now, I just want to style this one a little bit. So I call this class name equal to um, classes dot card container card container so because it's too close to this one so too close here so I want to give it the margin top to seams dot spacings to be four oops sorry <laughs> and then we go four Okay, great. So now we give some space. So now this thing is droppable. So next thing we need to be able to drag this cut. So for that we have to go to cut. So this thing is it's easy. The thing that we have to do is just um, wrap this one as a draggable. Draggable, and then for the draggable we need the draggable ID as well. So. We do as a trackable ID. I think that I import this one. Okay, this is not. We not import this one yet. So that's why I want it to be reload auto reload. So trackable. Okay, not reload. It's like um intelligent. Now we have a trackable ID is going to be which we want to know which one is we dragging. So I pass the ID here. And then we need to know the index as well. So we want to know which index that we track, right? So we but by that we have to pass the index from this one because inside the list we loop the cut and then inside here we should be able to get the index. So that we can pass the index into this one, and now our cut is getting the index. And now we need to know where so that we can be able to hold our our cut. Let's say we can track. So this the ref here is going to be this one. So the same things for this one is going to be render as the functions. So we go here and here, here and here as a div. I copy this one, put it right here. So and then provide it, and then so ref here equal to provide it. Dot inner ref. Now that should be okay. So now this is where we can drag this one, like hold and drag provided dot draggable handles, and there's one more is provided droppable or uh, draggable props. Provided dot trackable props. Now we can here. Now we can click this one. Perfect. You can see it. Wow, that's great. Whoo! -hoo. All right. So I think we not yet be able to this one. Not finish this one yet. So now as you can see when we drag this one, this thing is moving back. Right. This one. So it's moving back to its own positions, but for that, uh, it's why in, in here the drag drop uh, drag and drop contact here we have the function on drag end. So on drag end here we can listen when the drag here is finished. So for that, we can call we can call a function called on drag end. We create this one on drag end, then cons create the function to handle that one on track end. 
So for this soundtrack, and it's going to give us a result. So the result is going to be first. So this is going to be a destination that we are we going to uh, where we going to put our card and then the source where it's coming from and then the trackable ID trackable ID equal to result right here so now if I console the locks so this is the destination I call it destination okay and then I console it's one source Oh, no, 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 no. Source, and then we have to put source. Now we put a trackable ID. Now I open the console. And now if I drag this one, you will see that the destination is from list one. So where we track this one. And then the index of ones. So which means from the index of one right here. Uh, no, no, it's like it's the destination is two index of one. But the source is from index it lists the same thing here but from index 0 so it means like we take from index 0 to index 1 in the same a droppable ID here and then the card that we are tracking is called this one so all right so we need to handle this one and update our state so for that first thing first we need to do we need to check if the destinations is null if null or not, let's say if we drag and drop here, you can see now you can see the destination is null. So then if it's not, if it's null, so we just want to return back. So nothing happened. But if there's a destination, so if there is a destination, what we like to do is to check if the destination is the same as the because as you can see it's in the same right here right if we if we create another list right here if i create the to do that list and now if i drag and drop here you can see like the destination is in is is, is different from the uh, it's like the it's different here so we need to check whether we dropped in the same list or in this another list so for that we do source dot drop a ball drop a ball ID equal to destination dot drop a ball ID so we need to know it's whether it's in the same or not so next so when what went right now it's in the same so we know it's the same so we need to uh, source this so first first I think we should what we should do if we get the source list so first I would do is to put it here so even though if it's not in the same here we're going to use the source list to this one so I don't want to duplicate it so well I here so source list here for data dot list we, we try to get the the list it, it's from here so if we go to store so the store right here, you can see this is the list. So we try to get this one and then we're going to put it like over here, the source list and same as the destination list. Equal data dot list and equal to destination dot droppable ID. Okay, perfect. So now we can get this one. So what I need to do is to source dot list dot cut we want to supply it supply ce and then source dot index and then slash one so it mean like so when when you drop when you drag this one all right so let me comment this one first all right for, for you can see that we give an index from it this one you can see the index here so I mean like in the index of the cut here index is zero, we deleted one, spike one. So and then what we need to do is to next is to source. So 
you know that the source and destination and then destination dot list dot card here so dot supply so what we need to do is to put the destinations um, destinations dot index so where's the index v1 and then put zero and then we add the card here so for this one what I like to do is to find the the track cut so we don't know what cut yet so for this one I do tracking cut equal to source dot list because we drag it from the source right source list dot cut dot filter we're going to filter the cut now let's say the cut that cut dot ID equal to trackable ID because we can have the trackable ID here so now we have a tracking cut here so we just put it into the destination right now if I track this one now it show nothing so uh -huh. so I think it's because the tracking cut here is, uh, has nothing but I do believe that we do have the cut ID one right here. So which is cut ID right here, not cut is. Now we do this one. Uh -huh. A trackable ID is required. Hmm. So it's kind of weird. So because the filter is the channel, array, we should put it uh, as the we get index first index of it right so I think this one will work now it's perfect so now as you can see is this one taking this one but this is not update the state yet so then next we have to update over the state so then cons new state is going to be equal to get the all of previous data and then we just update our list and then we get the old, the old list and then we take the list that we're working on the source list.id with this we update with the uh, destination list so now if we go here so to clarify here we can go to this component and we can go to our apps here as you can see and we can here we have a list here and now we have a list and a cut and now if I move the cut around I should see the update right here which clearly it's not working uh-huh all right, all right okay okay it, it's, it's update but it kind of slow it's not like an instance this one so it's update all right perfect so let's see is it update I think it's not updating what if I put as the source list I think if I put source list it's gonna be error for some reason hmm oh damn it <laughs> destination list I forgot to update the state oh my god set data it's a new state oh my god all right sorry I for that and now if we go back again and then we see click on overcut and this is overcut and then if I track this one now there should be an update which why 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 are you not updating Hmm, let's me console.locks a new state. So I think might be there's some a little bit problem right here, so ah yeah 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 but that's okay, let's me try to change this one. Okay, it update the state here, perfect it. But it's kind of slow. Okay, perfect. It's working. Oof. 
All right, it's take a little bit long time. So now we finish this one. I'm gonna push it to the GitHub. Ta-da! So we finish. I'm gonna copy this one. Then get the push. All right. So next we need to drag and drop. So uh, for this one, I'm going to. I think I should put it a little bit bigger. Okay, perfect. Next, we need to do is to drag and drop to the another cut. So for this one, we have to drag in here. So for that reason, I so I don't want to. So I I think I can add another list that we can drag into this one. So I can I put the list to the cut here to be null and then I put a doing in here and then I get the list ID oops and then uh, list two now you can see it refresh it's there here and I have to drag and drop to this one okay so if we drag and drop as you can see I drag from the source here, it's from list1 and the destination it should be list2 because I put this one wrong right here. So now you go here, so I drag from list1 and to list2. Okay, for this one it's going to be the same inside of apps. So beside from not the same and then it should be else. If it's not the same, we do source list dot cut dot supply and then the source dot index bit one and then we do destination list dot cut dot supply and then we do destinations um, destinations dot index and zero here we add the tracking cut tracking cut and now it's uh, it's the same thing so we need to update the state so current new state is going to be equal to so we get the previous data and then we get a list then we get a previous list which is perfect and now we need to update our source list source list ID with the our source with our current source list here and then the destinations dot destination list ID here it's going to be the uh, destinations list and then we have to set data to the new state all right perfect so now if I track here now I stay there you can here here I can move back if I want to create a done here and now I can drag this one inside here as well all right cool all right so now we be able to track this one you see it's easy and some of the code I use here and if you watch the tutorial of react beautiful you can see that it's kind of like, uh, yeah I use some of their code a little bit but not all of that maybe but just yeah some of it <laughs> yeah so that's how we learn. So get tada. So then I push and then I push. Track and drop in different lists. Then get that push. So next we drag and drop the list. So if you can go here, let's see I can drag and drop this one, right? So for that reason as you can hear we have to have a place as a droppable you can see so now I want the entire place here as a droppable and the list here as a trackable and for that so let's see okay cool so now I need to go to our apps here and then what I need to do is to make the app here is the place that we can drop that this is, is droppable so let's see 
I do drop a ball and then it should wrap everything here and for the drop a ball here I need a drop a ball ID which that's, we don't have to like there's only the entire app is droppable so you just call it app you can call anything you want and then all right if right now there's some error here so like previously you know what to do right and not this one I should return this one is better this one and then we have a provided there's also one argument from this one, it's a snapshot, so, so, but, yeah, we will talk about it later. So, for now, in a ref, but that's okay. Alright, so, if we need something for this one, so, we need S as the reference for the provided dot droppable props, provided, not in a ref, and then inside here, we're gonna spread they provide it dot droppable props. All right, perfect. And then inside this one, it should be a provide it dot placeholder. And now there's some problem if you try and drop this one. You see, it's an error here because it dragged into here. But this is the way that we don't want our cut is to drop in, right? So for that reason is we need to have the types of that we want to do. Type here is it going to be equal list. The drop only the one that have the equal to list. So then what I need to do here for the result here we have we can keep get see the type that we are currently working on. So then if type here so the type should be list or something like that so if we can check if here if types equal to list so now we're not doing anything I'm just do return but in here you can see it's still the same it doesn't work because we drop because we need this one as the pass as the type it's like a card this one so for the type here is null, so that's why we don't have we have nothing to worry, which is great. So now what we need to do is inside our card here, we need to make these things as a trackable. So previously we made this one as a droppable, but right now we need to make this one as a trackable. So for that, I'm going to. Uh, Oh, I think I'm talking the right place. <laughs> Wrong place. Alright, this one we need to make this one as a drinkable. As a droppable. Uh drinkable. Sorry, I keep miss the drinkable. So grab the entire this one. Same as before, we need the pass they provided. I can call this one anything, it's just a prop. So and then we have to copy this one and paste, paste it here and now we need to put where we can drag this one what I like to pass it here should be as the where should I put this place the title because let's see if we be going to click here it's going to change to this one right so that's why I'm going to put it right here. So unless you can click on this one, so that's why I'm going to put it. Uh huh. Let's see. Now if I click this one, it's okay. But can I? Yeah, I think it's okay. So for that, I'm going to put it here. The so the reference is going to be on tops. Provided trackable handle. So okay. Perfect. I think the dev here, the ref here is going to be the provided dot in a ref and then the handle props is going to be alright so I think I need to check a little bit so it's here provided dot trackable props 
and then for handle I'm going to put this one so provided dot trackable handle props so now uh -huh. there's something error here so why it's not cannot be drugs oh because we have to put the track list here as the list ID they need that and and then we need the index as well so the index is equal to index that we going we can pass from here so where this index coming from it come from here so inside list we can get index equal to index and then which one we do we can get index from here oh all right so now there's some problems a trackable is an ID enable to handle a trackable all right all right so what is going on I just import this one okay perfect I import this one and everything seems like that works just fine I guess but it feel like it's strange drag a ball here and then uh -huh. I see I see because I double this one dot drag ball and our props all right perfect so now you can see it it go like this because it's vertical so we need to change this one in type of app to where is it uh, right now right here two directions uh, directions is equal to horizontal now if I go here it changed but we not be able to we not updated yet right so for that we're going to update this one so now we check if the type is equal list we can't new list ID we're gonna change the new list ID let's go one data dot list ID first we got a previous first list ID nope and then new list ID this should be with s and then dot supply source dot index with one and then the new list ID dot supply destinations destin destinations dot index um it's zero and then we track a ball ID so the trackable ID is the ID of each card this one so here now it's working if I click done now I can drag and drop this one around and it's perfect oof like a lot of mess here so but that's okay now we click this one we finish this one we need to push it to the github as well so now we finish this one Get commit dash m's Ta-da! and drag and drop list get that push all right so that's it for this part three in the in the next part we will working on the navigation here and then we will working with this one and also with the image here so for this one i'm use on flash api so i will explain more in part four in the final part all right so see you in part four